And East Nashville business owner says vandals are repeatedly targeting their properties. Welcome to News 2 at 4. I'm Kendall Ashman. Well, now the business is getting stuck with fines from Metro Coast. News 2's Corey Johnson reports. Graffiti is costing an East Nashville business hundreds of dollars to repeatedly fix. For business owners, the problem is, is spending out a lot of dollars, uh, hundreds of dollars to get things repainted. Shaquita Dobson is the manager of Tower Market in Delhi on Gallatin Avenue. She didn't want her face shown on camera, but she tells News 2 over the weekend staff noticed fresh graffiti on the roof of the market. And it's not the first time. Last month, taggers vandalized a property across the street they also own. The cost to paint over it, $600. More painters are set to come out today to take a look at the roof. That estimate already in the hundreds. By the time we get done painting the painters and coats, like we paid payroll within the building um, to pay out to for something that's beyond our control and that's Evidently, it's going to keep happening the more that we repaint and give a clean canvas again. But they're footing more than just one bill. Every time the graffiti returns, they get another citation from Metro Codes. Being harassed by Codes, um, constantly dropping off documents to say, hey, you need to fix this. That's becomes the frustrating part. News 2 stopped by the Metro Codes office to talk with Director Bill Herbert. He says they're only enforcing laws set in place by Metro Council. We understand that when uh, property owners get tagged with graffiti, that they are innocent in this. We understand that. What we do is we send a notice of violation, which generally gives 30 days to bring the property into compliance. Now, we have to enforce against the property owner. Again, we know that they are innocent in this. Herbert tells News 2 after the notice of violation deadline, there's a $50 a day fee every day until it's removed. But he says help is available. Please call and let us know and we will give you more time. We are not here to try to punish anybody. For now, Dobson believes more can be done by the city to protect businesses so fines don't end up tagging establishments out of business. I think once the business has been fined once and they've made the adjustments, if they get retagged, I think at that point, hey, you should kind of be like, hey, they already had a tag once and they fixed it the first time and just kind of leave it alone. Corey Johnson, News 2.